The number one baking vessel for bread is the bread pan. The most common baking vessel for no-knead bread is the Dutch oven. The time has come to develop a no-knead recipe with ingredients, baking temperature, and baking times specifically designed for the bread pan. Hi, I'm Steve and welcome to my kitchen. Take a look at this loaf. No mixer, no kneading, no yeast proofing, and no Dutch oven. More importantly, it's special. This is true artisan quality bread. Take a look at the crumb of this loaf. Now let me show you how easy this is. I'll be using three and a half cups bread flour, two teaspoons salt, one half teaspoon instant yeast, and 14 ounces cool tap water. I set up my workspace with my utensils and my ingredients. I'm going to start with the dry ingredients. Three and a half cups bread flour. I use the scoop and shake method for measuring flour. This recipe is very forgiving and you don't have to be exact. Next, two teaspoons salt. I use everyday table salt. One half teaspoon instant yeast, sometimes referred to as bread machine yeast. Before we add the wet ingredients, I want to mix the dry ingredients to ensure that the salt and yeast are evenly distributed throughout the flour. Now the wet ingredients. 14 ounces cool tap water. Next, we'll combine the wet and dry ingredients. Note, I'm drawing the flour from the sides of the bowl before stirring the middle. It hydrates the flour faster, which reduces the mixing time. And I'll scrape the sides of the bowl to get the remaining flour into the dough. I like to use the handle end of a plastic spoon. It's a lot like a dough hook. Can you see how the dough doesn't stick? It makes it a lot easier to manipulate the dough. And we're done. Did you see how easy that was? No mixer, no kneading, no yeast proofing. All we need to do now is cover the bowl with plastic wrap, leave it on the counter to proof overnight, and Mother Nature will do the kneading for us. I'll see you in the morning. No knead dough should be proofed for 8 to 24 hours, which gives you a lot of flexibility. You can make the dough in the morning and bake it for your evening meal. Or you can make the dough in the evening, bake the next morning, and have oven fresh bread for your lunch. The dough has proofed overnight and more than doubled in size. It's time to fold, shape, and proof the dough a second time. Bakers have known for years that bread benefits from long proofing times. The no-knead method takes advantage of this principle. It uses a minimum amount of yeast and long proofing times to develop flavor. Meanwhile, the long proofing times replaces the arduous task of kneading. Mother Nature does the kneading for you. I set up my workspace with the dough off to the left, flour and utensils off to the right, and off to the far right I have the bread pan and no-stick spray. I'll start by spraying the bread pan with no stick spray. Next, I'll dust the workspace with flour and scrape the dough out of the bowl. Note the stringy nature of the dough. That tells us Mother Nature has done her job. With floured hands, I'm going to lightly pat the dough to flatten. 
then using a plastic bowl scraper, I'll fold the dough over onto itself to form the loaf. Next, I'll slide the bowl scraper under the dough and use it to put the dough in the bread pan. I placed the dough in the bread pan and covered it with a flour sack towel proof. Before I leave the kitchen, I'll prep the oven by positioning the rack in the middle. I do it in advance so I don't forget. I'm going to proof the dough for an hour and a half, and I want to preheat the oven, so I'm setting the timer for an hour and 15 minutes. Dough should be proofed for one to two hours, and the oven should be preheated. It's been an hour and 15 minutes, and I'm setting the oven to 400 degrees. The dough has been proofing for an hour and a half, and the oven is preheated. It's time to bake the bread. The bread is in the oven, and I've set the timer for 45 minutes. It's been 45 minutes. The bread is ready. Let's take a look. Did you notice? It's easier to bake no-knead bread in a bread pan than a Dutch oven, and you'll love the shape of the loaf. If you like this video, I would like to introduce you to my latest cookbook, Introduction to Baking Noni Bread and Bread Pans. And because bread pans come in various sizes and materials, I included a guide to bread pans that you may find helpful. I think you'll enjoy this cookbook. Thanks for watching.